Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Donut Like, Donut Read. Uh, I am Luna, and with us are Joaquin. What's up? And John. Greetings, normies. Uh, so, uh, Joaquin, tell us about this, this offering you brought to the table. So me and John were hanging out in the Discord uh, at one day, and um, I found another story by this author named Creative Artist that I first found. So I sent it to him, and we were looking at his other story. Then we decided to look through uh, other stuff that this author did, and we found this. And right from the first paragraph, uh, we knew it was something that we just had to cover. All right. It's uh, called the, the fix called Andrea. It is a Kim Possible uh, fan fiction. Uh, Hope you like fedoras. Uh, and yeah. Uh, yeah, it came out in uh, it was published in uh, May thirty first, two thousand and four. So some ancient shit. It's probably older than some of you. All right. Well, take it away. Walk the walk. Okay, Andrea. Ron meets a girl in school they he starts to hand out with instead of Kim. Will Kim get jealous over it? Two misspellings in the description that is uh, maybe two short sentences long. That's always a good. That's always a good sign. <laughs> okay. I'm just I'm just upset about the handouts. <laughs> I hate handouts. <laughs> yeah. All right. Kim Possible is owned by Disney. Andrea, part one. Ron meets Andrea. Does anyone want, want to read the author's note? For I'll off? read it. I'll read it. <laughs> this fic just the fic just came to me one day. I did know an Andrea in my life. I thought I'd let Ron meet her as well. The same. <laughs> this is the same kind of thought process. Uh. He's calling back to uh, the classic divine comedy, uh, you know, uh, Dante's Inferno, Purgatorio, Perdiso, where uh, the real life Dante knew a woman named Beatrice and decided uh, to insert it into the story with his OC. It's a, it's a callback to classic literature. Mm, I just love your uh, literature takes, Luna. <laughs> Ron walked alone to Latin class. Kim had taken the scenic route to see Josh Menke again. He hated what that. What school are fucker. you in that has a scenic route? A scenic route. <laughs> oh, this is a special kind of school. <laughs> it's a very special one indeed. It's in the mountains. <laughs> he hated that fucker so much. <laughs> <laughs> he he was so frightened stupid sometimes. Wait all the time. Friken. Ooh. Kim was supposed to be his best friend, but she didn't act like it sometimes. The truth of the matter was that he loved Kim with a passion. Oh, okay. She would never show any love for him. Uh, <laughs> he had kissed her ass for the past ten years, hoping to get with her at some point or another, but nothing worked. Kim was too smart to fall for Ron's plan. He acted like her. He acted like he liked her as a person when, in fact, he just wanted a slice of a cherry pie. So, like, he knew he wasn't. <laughs> are we supposed to be root? Pause. Are we supposed to be rooting for Ron here? Uh, I mean, I'm this, not. This is, this is the uh, the incel self insert. Oh, self insult. Imagine, to be right, your friend. imagine making. Sorry, continue. No, I just said just imagine needing to be your friend. Pretty much. God. Pretending, I meant. He knew he wasn't going to get it any. Then why are you still around her then? He hung around her because he was snitten by her perfection, real or not. He often wondered if Kim was really human or if she was a being of unparalleled sill. What what does sill mean? Sill? Yeah. Uh what does it hold mean on. By that? Uh a shelf or slab of stone, wood or metal at the foot of a window or doorway. 
a strong horizontal member at the base of any structure, example, in the frame of a motor or rail vehicle, in geology, uh, a tablature sheet of igneous rock intruded between and parallel with the existing strata. It's also a company um, founded in 2012, uh, the founders being uh, Eliza Blank and Gwen Blevins, um, and it appears to be an indoor plant store. So I hope that answers your question. And if you like, and if you like the, all the products you see here, you can put our uh, <laughs> our uh, our discount code uh, DLDR to get ten percent off your purchase. We do not have discount codes. <laughs> yeah, we're not. Well, we do by now. Anyone. <laughs> <laughs> not, not sponsored yet. by anybody. There was no way she was so damn perfect. It wasn't humanly possible. Could uh, could she be the next step of human evolution? <laughs> a leap forward in the gene pool sent here to guide the rest of us into a new and wondrous golden age that would last as long as thun sand years. Oh god. Uh, We're not done yet, not done yet. Yet, Ron thought that Kim might have been an alien of some kind sent here to protect all of the world from evil or an upcoming threat that no one was aware of yet. Ron didn't have time to answer that because he bumped... (laughs) 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 That's... That's so the start he, of her game plan. The next step is the Great Replacement Theory. Just a world of, full of Kims. Oh God! Yeah, dude, he's horny for her like so much that she thinks she she's an he thinks like she's an alien. <laughs> also, she protects evil from threats all the time, and she does it with yeah. you. What are you talking yeah. about? You, I think he should know if she's an alien or not. More like you're already protecting the world from evil. Like, as a team, you're already yeah. doing that. You're doing it. Just, goddamn, get laid. Well, no, he can't get laid if he's if he's talking like this. Wanting <laughs> yeah, a, a slice of someone's cherry pie, that's not going to get you anywhere. <laughs> that's like, a, like Ron, some of, I mean, I bake. I mean, I, I, I've got, like, I mean, I've, I've got, like, a slice of, like, some cake I baked. Are you at, like, I don't, what are you talking about? What does that mean? <laughs> Oh, I think we know exactly what it means. I'm saying if you if, if someone walked up to you and said, hey, say, hey, can I get a slice of your cherry pie? Like that wouldn't that'd be confusing. Like what are you even what are you even saying to me? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Even if some Yeah, even if someone did like uh someone did get what he was saying, he'd probably just get slapped. Yeah, like that's the worst that's the worst way you could have put it. I don't want to be around you. Actually, a great comeback line would be like if Robin's like, "Hey, babe, uh, do you like my? I would like some of your cherry pie." And the, the girl's like, "Oh, sorry, my cherry's pop, so he would get his pie." That's not like a response that you'd get. Like the response that you'd get would be a look of confusion and like a nervous laugh, and then the person sprinting in the opposite direction. Or better yet, she'll be like, "I'll give you some pie," just and just throws a cream pie in her in his face. But she just keeps like in her back, like of a comedic pie, she keeps in her back pocket just in case. Well, the school has a scenic route, you eat hoot, so uh, oh a no, scenic a scenic route. route. It's from so <laughs> clearly this is an unusual school it's with from probably unusual it's from people. Ho- it's from home ec. It's from like the combination home ec and clowning class. <laughs> of course, yes. I always like uh, to imagine in the story that uh, Ron is wearing a fedora and a trench coat. Oh yeah, under he's got one of those. He's got like a gamer T-shirt, but like one of those gamer T-shirts from like 2004 with like the ugly art style that was like, I don't do homework. I eat Cheeto. Video game? I gamer. We got we got a thumbnail. We got a thumbnail. Ron in a trench coat and uh, fedora holding a cherry pie. Born to shit. There, uh, yeah, born show that shit. on the screen right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll born see to what shit. I can do. Forced to wipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! The cherry on top in this video is like Ron just uh, Ron gets so fed up with Kim not giving her a slice of her cherry pie and just him calling her a Stacy. Fucking Stacy. Oh god. This is the origin origin point. This is the start. This is the beginning. 
Ron didn't have time to answer that because he bumped into someone. He blacked out for a little. <laughs> Damn, he must have gotten imagine, really knocked out. Imagine you're walking through the hall. He was on low health. Imagine you're walking through the hallway and like someone just like bumps into you and then they just pass out. Look, uh, like that, uh, like that old like uh, GTA meme. Wasted or whatever. Yeah. Okay. When he look, when he opened his eyes, he saw a girl looking down at him, concerned. Are you okay? The girl asked as Ron sits up. Ow, my head! Ron says, putting his head, putting his hand on his head. What happened? I bumped into you on accident and knocked you out. Sorry about that. <laughs> she knocked him out. No wonder he blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> she she, she heard, see, she heard him telepathically. He heard the, 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 the he, heard the, he heard the cherry pie comment and just knocked him. The it was fuck a reflex. Out. It was like a reflex. Like she doesn't even know why she did it. It's just like he approached. She entered her uh, her um a o uh, her uh, area of effect, you know, and just you know her passive, <laughs> like her passive is uh you know incels take damage. <laughs> yeah, well, that's her reflex whenever, uh, go ahead. No, you, you, she got, you know, he had low health to begin with, and, you know, her area effect damage, he was, he was left prone. Yeah, that's also, uh, her reflex whenever she sees someone with a fedora in a trench coat. Yeah, you know, the incel. <clears throat> that's, that's a good reflex to have, though, honestly. Yeah. Uh, she says while lifting Ron off the floor. Damn, she's pretty strong. Yeah. She, What's your name? She, oh. Andrea. She says cutely. Andrea, that's a cute name you got there. If he had learned anything from the pickup artists I watch regularly to make fun of, he would know that now was not the time to compliment her name. If you are a true alpha, you say something like, hmm, Andrea. That's a name for a little girl. Hmm. I don't really think about that name. Hi, I'm Ron. Don't go to compliments. Ron's, uh, Ron says, looking into her eyes. Ron looked at her. She was the very image of a goddess. Uh, I guess Kim doesn't matter anymore. He, he, she, he just says that with, with every woman. Oh my god, a goddess. Bumps into another girl. Oh my god! He just loves a women goddess. so much. It it it. Uh, he's putting it on a pedestal. Back around. <laughs> yeah, he's putting women on a pedestal. Yeah. She had brown hair that, that was what... dead to look brown. Ooh. Her eyes were a crystal clear color. Wait, so then it's not a color if it's clear. Does that mean you can see directly into her brain? Yeah, you know, well, I mean, I saw it. You know, like, uh, like those video game consoles where it's the clear plastic so you can see all the wiring inside? Yeah. That's that's her eyes. Like, uh, you can you can see her pupils, um, kind of, but you can also see, like, the optical nerve and, like, the veins and the, the, the you can see she's got the beginnings of cataracts. It's, um... Cataracts? Yeah. I thought it was cataracts. Maybe you mis maybe you uh, misspelled it on purpose. Maybe Kinda it's like just a verbal a, typo. Maybe it's just maybe I just have I've got maybe I just have calliope syndrome. I read a lot of words. I don't know how to say any of them. She was so beautiful. Ron couldn't keep his eyes <laughs> off of her. She was so beautiful and so good looking. R Ron looked at her and she thought she was more beautiful than Kim. Oh, that was quick. Um, to hell with Kim and her perfectness. Here was a real girl, not some stupid, perfect, little bitchy cheerleader who acted like she was embarrassed by him. I mean, I would too, if I was hanging around with you, dude. He risked his life to bring her that damn flower to counteract that stupid blush serum. Why did he have to meet her in preschool? Why did he meet her? Why not some other girl? While he was thinking this, Andrea snapped her fingers to try to wake him up. Can you not? Can you not vent to your freaking like journal in your head while while you're in front of this girl? That's not how. That's, that's probably why you're not just striking out with Kim. You're talking about probably thinking about how like God damn it, why didn't she sleep with me yet? What like, Ron needs. Meanwhile, she's like you're like uh, at lunch and she's like trying to like. Ron. 
Ron, are you okay? Hey, Ron. Buddy. Ron? Ron, wake up. Ron? Ron, don't go where I can't follow. <laughs> Ron, what are you doing about all, chili For all we know, again? she's saying the exact same things about you in her head. Man, just you gotta communicate better. Uh, hello? You in there? Andrea snapped her fingers. Was that uh oh, sorry. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, my name is uh, Ron. Ron combs his hair back and starts t talking like James Bond. Oh my God. The stoppable. Ron, stoppable. Acting like he's in a <laughs> fucking movie. <laughs> Bless your heart. Who says? You sure are. She says, giggling a little. <laughs> Anyways, I better get going. I had to get to Latin before Mr. Barkin gives me detention again. Ron starts to walk away from her. He stops and looks back at her. Hey, uh, I was wondering, do you want to hang out after school today or, or something? Sure, sure. I'd like that very much, Ron. She said as she came up to him and gave him a kiss on the cheek. Well, that was fast. Yeah, she moving wants, quite fast. I'm she's going to kill him. For all we- hey, Ron, here's an, here's an idea. Try bumping into Kim. Maybe that'll happen <laughs> to you, you know? He probably uh, already whatevs. tried that. Didn't work. <laughs> I, I'll see you later! Ron said all dumbfounded. Ron seems to float in the air. He had finally meet a girl who liked him. He floated to Latin. <laughs> A whole new world. I like to imagine it's like, you know that thing where like a cartoon character smells a really good pie on the windowsill? <laughs> oh, is that cherry pie? Oh yeah, that. God. I hate He's that. excited by learning right now. <laughs> He's smelling that knowledge yeah. all up in his brain. All the people that he passed by looked at him as he went and were confused. Ron floats... <laughs> Ron floats in the classroom gently and gent. God damn it. Ron floats in the classroom and gently drops in his desk. Mr. Barkin comes in the room, goes to his desk, and slams his book on the desk. God damn it, Ron. I said it to you once. I said it to you a thousand times. What if I told you, told you about floating into my classroom? Anyone, gonna, anyone got Mr. Barkin? Uh, I'll, take it. I'll take it out. All right. Listen the hell up, people. For whatever reason that I'll never understand, and may regret doing afterwards, I'm going to give you a free period. You can do what whatever you want, as long as you don't break anything and talk amongst yourselves in a normal voice, like me, Professor Barkin. Barkin opens his book and begins to read. Ron was busy thinking of what to do after school with Andrea. Go to the movies? Nope, there is always the possibility that Zeta might be working there and see them together and get the wrong idea. Wait, they could go to, you know, nachos and eat some nachos, but then he <laughs> thought that it was too stupid. He How do you needed do that? something. How do you do that? You have it spelled correctly right there. There's three words in between. How do you do that? <sighs> What I like these it's what great I, difficulty. What I like about this fic is that it doesn't have like as much misspellings as other fics do. But what it lacks in quantity, it makes up for in quality. These are all like good good mis misspellings that are spaced out far enough to, you know, give you a little, little punch. He needed something that will impress Andrea, something that will make her see him not as bomb blim. <laughs> What? Bomblind, you know, a blomblind idiot. <laughs> idiot, but as a nice person that deserved a chance to show the world what he's made of. No. I'm a nice guy here. I'm gonna show you that I'm a nice guy. <laughs> this is like reading a I manifesto. I don't have ill intentions. The bell for Latin rang. Ron gets up and leaves the class. He spots Kim waiting for him by a water fountain. Ron walks right past her, not noticing her or even saying hi, because he's got Andrea now. <laughs> Wait, how do you, like, spot Kim and then not notice her? Very carefully. You know what I mean? Very carefully. Uh, I see. 
Ron, what's wrong with you? Uh, didn't you see me standing here? Kim says as she catches up to him because there's no end She quote. said all that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Huh? Oh, sorry, Kim. I was busy thinking about something. I doubt it. Ron. Yeah. <laughs> Were you thinking about my Why are you going to call me out like this, Kim? <laughs> Ron says with a dreamy look in his eyes. You want to come over after school and check out my new cuddle buddy? What? Kim I think asked, she means stuffed animal. Oh, yeah. Kim asks as they go into the gym for cheer practice. Sorry, Kim, but I got some things to do after school. Like what? It's not like you have a social life. Burn. Kim says with an eyebrow raised. Oh, God. Now it's my turn to be the incel. I'm so excited. <laughs> Get ready, dude. We all can't be like you, Kim. Just because you are so damn perfect doesn't mean you have to keep putting other people down. Don't you know that a lot of people hate the way you are so perfect? You make them look bad. You make them feel like the worst pieces of shit that I've ever lived. Why do you have to remind me of my status in society? I don't know. I'm not sure. That spelling is whack. I think you, you, my friend, out of pity, you feel sorry for me. Plus, you always use me as the distraction. I hate being the distraction. Ron gets up and starts to walk out of the gym. Ron, what has gotten into you? Kim asks a big thrick frig fiend. Why are you being like this? You're not unionizing, are you? Drop it. I'm leaving. I have an appointment to keep with my union rep. <laughs> I have an appointment to keep. <laughs> what? Ron walks out of the gym. He's got an appointment to keep. You know, he's got he's got uh he's got places to be, people to see. Kim just stood there as her friend just accused her of being his fr friend out of pity. <laughs> In a way, he was right. She was Roasted. his friend out of pity. Kim gets a tear in her <laughs> eye. She turns around, looks back at the door where Ron left. She then starts to practice for the get, uh, for the big game this weed end. <laughs> end of ch part one. And I, for any of you are wondering what happens next, what happens in Andrea, uh, this fic was last updated in uh, 2014. So I next chapter should be out literally any day now. This guy's just taking his time to uh, produce it's been, like a, a magnum opus. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty much 18 years, but I'm sure they'll come back someday. Yeah, any day now, any day now. Uh, if you want to join the seven people who have followed this picture, but what you shouldn't do is join the five people who have reviewed. And we're going to check out those reviews now. Oh, let's check out the reviews. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, should we start from the top or? Top. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. Top, but I want to read okay. that second review. Okay. Uh, David C20 official writer says, In Interesting beginning. This is going to be an interesting story considering that we see a love triangle. Review posted in uh, December 10th, 2015. Uh, Cute the dream, bud. Yeah, I don't think the creative artist is Any coming day back. Now. <laughs> Any day now. <laughs> Yoda, update you must, or kill you the dark side will. <laughs> 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 From guest reviewer <laughs> That's, uh... I don't think... I think the dark side may have infected a bit. You yeah. a bit, Yoda. And check uh, your own house first. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ranma and Akane Forever said, It's a good story, but it needs to have been checked by someone before it was posted. Anyway, keep it up and try to add a little more KR in... to it. In it too. Oh, sorry. I messed up the last part. Yeah, th but KR, but this story is about Andrea. <laughs> uh, Ron, oh, yeah, my... Keep in mind. Yeah, keep in mind that um, in the author's note, uh, this author, creative artist, said that they did know an Andrea in real life. <laughs> you think they showed this? <laughs> you think they showed this to Andrea and then Andrea killed them? 
Maybe. Maybe maybe Andrea was Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the dark side of the code for Andrea. I just like to imagine that creative artist is was like this guy in high school, and she really liked she really liked this girl named Andrea, so she inserted her into the story. And I just I I do imagine that even though this isn't really a self insert, it almost is because I like to think that this this uh Ron I mean, character, the way he portrays him in this story is just like uh, creative artists. I mean, sometimes authors will think that they're too good to do self-insert, so what they'll do is they'll take a character and project on them so hard that, you know, they might as well be an OC at this point. Yeah. Maybe that's what uh, Drax should have done. What? Okay, no, pause. Which, which My Little Pony character should he have projected onto? What kin are what My Little Pony character are you assigning Drax as, as kin? Is it rare? Are you assigning rarity? Are you assigning that weird Al Yankovic pony? Um, oh God! Like who? Probably and, not Spike or whatever. So who? Are you, and, uh, which pony are you assigning? Uh, are you assigning Drax? You're giving Drax his kin assignment. Who are you assigning? <laughs> Help. And uh, for those of you who don't know what the hell we're talking about, yeah. this is a fic covered by the Steel Donut Collective uh, called yeah, Ain't Card, Much. Links Card in the, in the description corner. if you want to check it out. You think if you really want to. You think we're at this point we're being watched by anybody who hasn't watched the Steel Donut Collective? Maybe. Someone could be like searching up, you know what, I want to search up some dumb f- hum stuff. Uh, and then all of a sudden, what the heck is this? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so, from War Prince 2000. Cool story! I can't wait to see what happens in the next chapter. Update soon, please. Oh, brother. I got some bad news for you, oh, my, dude. My, my, I feel so my sorry sweet for you. summer child. Oh, no. Okay, I've got uh, terrible news. Okay. Ace Lanigan, May 31st, 2004. Well, it was kind of rushed and kind of strange and kind of weird. The switching back and forth between present and past tense wording made it a little complex also the spell checker needs a tune-up but enough about the negative stuff ron hanging out with kim just so he could get a little that was classic keep an eye on the spelling and post the next chapter scene classic yeah that was indeed <sighs> a classic okay uh ladies uh gentlemen and esteemed guests You've been listening to uh, Donut Like, Donut Read. Uh, comment, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, have a good day. If you like, if you want to give us money too, we'll figure it out that at some later junction. Uh, put it in an envelope, and just uh, the UPS will know what to do. Just put, just put it <laughs> in a blank envelope, and uh, they'll take it from there. They'll know, they'll know how to get to it. They'll know how to get it to us. Yeah, show your friends or your family or whatever. But make sure they're like cool. Make sure they're down. Yes. With the cool fan fiction. Yeah, make sure kids. they're like cool. Yeah. <laughs> they know the streets. We got no, not the even streets. that. Like at, you got to be real confident. And your parents and their reactions if you're going to sit them down and have us listen to anything we've covered. Yeah, I wouldn't show you know? my mom this. Yeah. I would describe it to my parents in vague terms. I would not... I would not have them... I would not have Once, them watch. Well, unfortunately, my parents want to, me to show them this, so... <sighs> it's not a matter of my parents getting upset. Hi, John's it's just a parents. I don't. Hi, John's parents. You know, a crazy oh, well. thing about John is that I've never heard him swear in my entire life, you know? Like, I've never heard him swear, and he constantly talks, uh, off a uh, recording, he constantly talks about how much he loves and respects his parents. Unrelated, hi, John's parents. <laughs> I've heard John swear before. No, you haven't, because that's un- that's not that's not very polite. That's not how his parents raised him. Oh. <laughs> I swear, I've never said the following words. Shit, piss, fuck, <laughs> cunt, cock, <laughs> fuck, her motherfucker, and tits. Okay. It's your parents, um, I guess. Yeah. <laughs>
Hey, it's Joaquin here, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to follow us on any social media platform, uh, we'll leave links to those in the description below. Uh, thank you for watching, and peace out, everyone.